Mob Charity. She's really irritating. So, why does everyone hate Mob Charity? I've realized she's not just annoying. She's not just useless. She's evil. Oh! Hi! Oh, I didn't expect you guys to be up here. I was just I was just down there shooting my scene for the Sky High Summer Special, uh, Summer Camp Special, Summer Bummer. You know, they put me in a bag. It was actually kind of hard to breathe in there, but that's okay. Would you guys want to come inside with me? What? She's poison. So, I was told, you know, it was going around that you were fired from the show and... <laughs> you so are so funny. I know, I, I was not fired. Um, I left for a few episodes. I needed some some time away from Spy High. The, the, the director that they had and I, our, our artistic styles just were not eye to eye. And, and this new director that they have, I think I really, I really like the direction that he's taking with the show. I am supposed to die in this, but anything can happen at Spy High and, and will happen at Spy High. So what is it that you like about this director? The director and I, we, we see eye to eye because we are so about the now and, and current and edgy and Spy High just wasn't like that before. I think that when Mob Charity returned from the brink, you know, she needed something now. You know what's edgy? Death. I mean, come on. When you're alive, like, you eat stuff, but when you're dead, stuff eats you. And what, when you're alive, it's just the sun and everything shining and beautiful. That's for, like, three-year-olds, okay? I'm not a three-year-old. So what comes after death? Life comes after death because it's, like, a circle. Because, you know, circle of life. You know, when you die, something else is born. I mean, new babies are born every day, and when you die... You know, it's on a day. On Spy High, anything is possible. I could, I could be alive in that bag, okay? I'm still alive, and I was in that bag all day. You need to watch and see. You know, if anything, this is the beginning of a new chapter for Gretchen 86. A death chapter. No, and... and Christian Dooley. <laughs> he's quick with the ladies, but he's not British. So, what do you think of the director of the Summer Bummer? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, yes, I would. He's alright, I guess. I can't do this. Oh, he's for a quitter. I was replaced by my brother after the first three quarters of season one. And of that time, I don't miss anything working with Tank Panzer. If you think Blake is crazy, you should meet Tank. How can you stand him? I, I can't. I know. Today, he kicked Allison in the chest after a perfect take. I think he kicked her because he was so happy that the take was perfect. He set my pants on fire. He broke my two ribs. No, just calm down. Just calm down. In one episode. Hey guys, Tank Panther here. Join me and my friends on the biggest adventure yet. We're all going to kill your mother. <laughs> Filmed in beautiful Con France. Cut. Friends, those idiots don't know what they're doing. Like with the and bay, loopa. Take four, and remember, join me and my friends. Action! Five points for me and one for myself. You know, the director of Spy High Summer Bummer is unlike any other director the show has ever had. And you know what? I hate him. Not just me. Everyone else hates him. Even Moth Charity, as clueless as she is, hates him. Hates this director. He's always just like, Hey guys! Look at me! I'm the director! I'm so edgy and cool! And I hate you. The mouse did the right thing for once. He almost never does anything right. But they're kicking off Moth Charity, and you know what? It's a good thing. Because if they didn't kill off Gretchen A6, I would have had to take it into my own capable, probable 
hands. Allison Shady, boy, what a nice girl. You know, she was raised on a farm. You know that? I, you know, seriously, I don't like Allison. I don't like the country girls. I had a date with one that never really went well. I keep her hair on my fireplace now. You know, Christian Dool is an alright guy. I used to be friends with his brother. Now I'm friends with Christian. Thanks. Quiet on the set! You shut up! Okay, obviously you hate where we're filming. You hate Moff Charity. And you like my brother better than me. What do you think of Chad? You know what? I don't mind Chad, it's just that I just get so angry sometimes. I get angry all the time. It's, it, I've had these anger issues since I was 11. I hurt a lot inside. I, I never see my mother because of it. And I want people to hurt. One day I'm gonna kill all of you. I'm gonna kill this guy who's filming this in a few minutes. I'm gonna kill Santa Claus. Yeah, I can kill Santa Claus. And more importantly, I'm going to kill the mouse. In all seriousness, Stack is a really nice guy. We we go to parties sometimes. We we drink a lot. We uh we went on a double date a few times. It was fun. You know. I, I, I don't really have anything else to say but that. I like that. Allison Shady. She's a good friend of mine, but we're not dating. So you and Allison really aren't seeing each other? No, the mouse wants us to date. She and I, we don't have anything in common, which is it's really stressful. Why don't you just quit, man? The mouse is going to make me into a rock star. Well, the cast for Spa Hot, I mean, we have just really gotten to know each other. I mean, it's heartfelt friendship from here on. I mean, we all play tricks on each other. Well, not really tricks, more like jokes. Blake, oh, Blake's great. He'll take me and he'll, he'll push me in the sand. Yes, it hurts. But <coughs> it is all just good, heartfelt fun. He told me he had a girlfriend like me once. He scalped her. I, I just can't imagine him, you know, being mean to me or anything. And, you know, I mean, Blake's just awesome. And then there's Chad. So are you guys, you and Zach, really dating? No, me and Chad, I mean Zach, are not dating. The mouse just wants us to, you know, get together. And he and I, well, he and I, yes, we're blondes. But, you know, um, the only other thing we have in common is like skydiving. But that's the only thing we talk about. I know they want us to be, like, together for the press. We're not attracted to each other, like, you know, um, um, you know, romantically. You know, it's, it's not clicking. It's not, it's not working together. <laughs> so, if you're a farm girl. Yeah. How did the mouse find you? Well, my parents, since we live in South, have been promising that uh, we could go to Disneyland for my birthday. So we uh, we went up to Disneyland and they were having open auditions. Um, so I went up and all we had to do was say, freeze. And they took me away in a limo. And I ended up here. How often do you see your parents? Two weeks every year, usually between Christmas, my birthday, and Thanksgiving. Well, some Thanksgiving. So, I've been working this movie for three days now, and why didn't they just make it an episode? Everybody wishes that Mop Cherry's dead. Me, Gretchen. Uh huh. This is my room, Clem. So, Ma, I can call you that. Um, no. You can call me Em. No. Mob is fine. Yeah, I'm pretty much the only person sleeping in here. They gave me my own room. I, I mean, they owe me, so. It's just mine. So, what's this? <laughs> that's just a joke that they like to play on me. That's how I, that's how I used to sleep when I was a little kid. My, my, we are very poor and my, and my parents didn't like me as much as they liked my older sister. They think, they think it's funny, but it's not. <laughs> so, how do you like filming in con? I 
Oh! You mean... Con yes? It's fabulous. It's edgy, and it's today, and it's now. I love it. It's so mauve cherry, and, well, the beach really suits Zach, if you know what I mean. Chinese trick used uh, to uh, increase use sleep metabolism here? and thin bodies. Mom. Yeah, yeah, I am sleeping here. No, 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 no this will be fun. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, fine, buddy. 